This video demonstrates how to assemble and coil a second generation hybrid cable. A complete second generation hybrid cable consists of three sections, main cable, switch side pigtail, and AP side pigtail. The main cable is first routed and then connected to the pigtails on site. These are the tools that may be used. You will need to prepare them in advance. Before assembling a second generation hybrid cable, prepare the following materials. This video uses the AP side pigtail as an example to describe how to assemble a hybrid cable. The connection method for the switch side pigtail is the same and is not demonstrated here. The switch side pigtail and AP side pigtail need to be purchased separately. As they have different wiring sequences, do not use them interchangeably. These two types of pigtails can be distinguished by labels. Use a utility knife to peel off the black sheaths on both ends of the main cable and pigtail, exposing the internal wires. If a panel fiber management tray is prepared for the assembly, use the AP side pigtail that is not covered by the black sheath. Separate two optical fibers from the main cable and pigtail and fusion slice the fibers of the same color together. Separate two copper cores from the main cable and pigtail and crimp the cores of the same color together. Till now, we have connected the pigtail to the main cable.
Hybrid cables can be directly connected to a hybrid optical electrical switch or indirectly connected through a hybrid cable distribution frame or HDF. Direct Connection Scenario For details about how to fusion splice a pigtail, see Understanding and Assembling Hybrid Cable 2.0. The method for routing cables and switch ports in the direct connection scenario is similar to that in the indirect connection scenario through an HDF. This video uses the indirect connection scenario as an example. Indirect connection through an HDF. HDFs and switches can be installed in the same cabinet or in different cabinets with the difference lying in the jumper length. Connecting 1.5M jumpers. Install a switch and an HDF in the cabinet. The recommended distance between them is 14U to 16U. Feed the jumper through the cabling space on the left side of the cabinet. Install a hybrid module in a switch port. Remove the dustproof caps from the jumper connector. Connect the jumper to the corresponding ports on the HDF and switch. Ensure that the number of the connected HDF port is the same as that of the connected switch port. Connect the main cable with the pigtail fusion spliced to the corresponding port at the rear of the HDF. Connect jumpers to other ports in the same way and then use cable ties to fix the jumpers. Connecting 0.3 meters jumpers. Install a switch and an HDF in the cabinet. The recommended distance between them is 3U. Installing multiple switches and HDFs in the same cabinet. If multiple switches and HDFs need to be installed in one cabinet, you are advised to install them layer by layer, as shown in this figure. Next, this video uses a junction box mounting scenario to describe how to coil a hybrid cable on a panel fiber management tray. Install a hybrid module on the AP. Route the hybrid cable through the fiber management tray. Connect the cable to the hybrid module. Secure the fiber management tray to the rear of the AP. Coil the hybrid cable counterclockwise. You are advised to coil the cable in large circles. If the heat shrink tubing is located at the fiber spool, coil the cable in a small circle first, ensuring that the heat shrink tubing is not bent. In a junction box mounting scenario, if the remaining length of the cable is not enough for a large circle, coil the cable in a small circle and fasten it to the cable tie in the middle of the fiber management tray. In a wall mounting scenario, route the hybrid cable out of the fiber management tray through the cable hole in the upper right of the fiber management tray. Secure the wall plate AP and fiber management tray to the mounting bracket and tighten the security screw.
Secure the bottom cover of the fiber management tray using the mounting bracket in the same way as when installing a settled AP. Select a proper cable inlet according to the cable direction and route the cable into the fiber management tray. Secure the cable near the cable inlet using a cable tie. Coil the hybrid cable layer by layer. When coiling the cable near the splicing point, use a cable tie to bind the cable. Continue to coil the cable. Coil it gently and do not pull it too tight. Reserve enough cable length according to the AP position. Select a proper cable outlet and route the cable out of the fiber management tray. Bind the cable again at the front of the cable outlet using a cable tie. Cut off excess cable ties and cover the top cover. Install the hybrid module on the AP. Connect the hybrid cable to the hybrid module and secure the AP.